The federal trial of four men accused of plotting to kidnap Governor Whitmer now in the hands of the jury today. On Friday, prosecutors and defense attorneys offered their closing arguments. Prosecutors say that they've shown evidence that Barry Croft, Adam Fox, Daniel Harris, and Brandon Caserta intended to kidnap Governor Whitmer and even trained for it. Our Sean Lay joins us now live in Grand Rapids at federal court where this is happening with all the developments so far. Any word from the jury? That's the key question, Rhonda. Not yet. Been very quiet from the jury this morning. As a matter of fact, defense attorneys just walked past us to go to lunch right now. I was able to ask them if they've heard anything, any questions from the jury. They said no. Very, very quiet so far. The jury got this case, as we told you, late Friday afternoon. The jury then took the weekend off, and they began deliberations 8.30 sharp this morning. They've got a lot to work on. The jury has to go over three weeks of evidence, arguments, secret recordings, and testimony from FBI agents, along with multiple FBI informants who infiltrated the Wolverine Watchman group after one member went to police alarmed at the talk of violence and kidnapping. Now, prosecutors argue that the evidence, the evidence of a conspiracy is overwhelming in this case. Defense attorneys for the four men argue that there was really no agreement or plan in place to kidnap Governor Whitmer, and they argued that the FBI, through informants, pushed the plan forward. Now, again, Rhonda, we're monitoring what's happening today here in federal court in Grand Rapids. We will let you know certainly the moment there is a verdict could come today, but uh, perhaps it could come tomorrow. Uh, so we're just have to stay here and wait and see what the jury decides. Back to you. And a lot of people are anxious to see what that jury decision will be. Sean, thank you for that update. Turning